Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on Salesforce billing, we have seen how we can utilize Bill Now checkbox to generate invoices for a particular order monthly. Today we are going to see another version of invoicing a product which is called invoicing by invoice scheduler. So uh, here's the agenda that we have already seen last time. Uh, it will remain the same as of now as well uh, because we are trying to see other way of invoicing the product. So uh, in, what is invoice, where it fits in, important fees, way to invoice and a use case. We have already seen the what is invoices and other stuff. So I'll just ignore it. Where it fits in, that's first we configure the product, then we price the product, then we do a quotation out of it, then the order gets created, and then from the order we do the invoicing. Important fields, billing rule, revrec rule, tax rule, charge type of the order, billing frequency, billable unit price, hold billing, next billing date, overhead next billing date. So this are the one that we have already seen in my previous video. Invoice and processing status as well. So ways to invoice, uh, there are two ways to invoice. Uh, the first one was bill now and the second today we are going to do a check is invoice scheduler. So there were differences as we talked about and uh, let's move forward to the use case. So the use case is ABC Corporation is selling several services to Acme Corporation and these are the services. Now Acme Corporation agrees to pay the charges for the services by a single invoice for multiple months. Okay. So uh, these are the products like software services, it's a recurring product uh, which is billed monthly. Uh, maintenance again semi-annually billed and installation is a one-time fee. All of them are billed in advance. Okay. So previously when we do let's say bill now we were checking on the bill now scenario if we check bill now checkbox it was creating uh, monthly invoice so first invoice will have software services maintenance service and installation fee when we again do a bill now it will be only having one line for this one because this already got built uh, for the half yearly this was one uh, one time bill and this one monthly bill so on the sixth one, on the sixth uh, invoice, we should get this two line when we do the bill now one. Now let's see, let's review the configuration and let's see the demo. So I'm already on a quote. What I'll do is I'll, I'll go to edit line and I'll add the product. So all three products I'm adding in a single go. I'll come over here on the card and you can see this was $100, our purchase term or uh, selling term is 12, that means it is 1200. This is 25, our purchase term is 12, so it was price or it was price to be semi-annually, right? So $50, so the price was for half a, half a year, so it becomes 50 and this is a one-time charge, so it's not getting multiplied, it is remaining the same. Now let me save it. Now once I save it, I'll have to make the quote primary. Now once the quote becomes primary, what I'll do is I'll order the quote. And as soon as I go to the related list, I should see an order. And over here, I will see the related list uh, over here and I can see the product. So next billing date. Okay. So on this date, they are eligible for billing. So these were built in advance so that uh, those are seen to be built on the 1st of January. Now what I'll do is I'll activate the order. And now previously we were doing this bill now. Okay, so you see a checkbox over here bill now and we generate the invoice it will come across here. Now for invoice scheduler we'll have to identify something because now this invoices will be created using batches. Right, so for that we can provide invoice batch over here. So let's say I'm providing batch two. So I'll just save it, okay. And I'll go to invoice scheduler, and I'll create a new one. Test invoice scheduler. Over here we can specify whether we want to run this scheduler daily, weekly, monthly or once. 
right on the same time that being specified it will if you select daily then this will run daily weekly monthly or once right now i'm selecting one now i'm selecting the batch right because uh, if you have seen it i have selected batch 2 over here so i'm selecting batch 2 so that when this invoice run uh, when an invoice run gets created for this particular invoice scheduler it will pick all the orders which are having invoice batches batch 2 and process them now when to start it so i'll make it first or let me make it uh, it's the today's date right so let me make it this then invoice date on the on the date on which invoice is created and then target date so till which date will have to create an invoice for so right now let's say if we see over here on the related list everything is for first first 2000 first january 2024 so let me make it something like uh, let's say i want to build till 31st May 2024 and let me provide the time let me see the time it's 646 India time so I'll make it 648 p.m. or 649 p.m. and meanwhile I'll let me uh, provide you the idea about so uh, if you want to run at the end of the month we can check this checkbox when we are setting this type as weekly then we'll have to provide the date invoice day of the week target day of the week monthly will have to provide that invoice day of the month so on which date the invoice gets created and what is the target date okay if you want to automatically post the invoices you can check this checkbox and based on that if when the all uh, when the invoice gets created that will be automatically in the post it uh, this checkbox is used to identify whether we want to build consumption based product or not so i'll just check this checkbox and let me see it's 646 so let me make it 648 and i'll save it as soon as i save it uh, i will show you there is a scheduled job that's being added so let me just move to schedule job and that will show you one scheduled job that is supposed to run at 6 48 p.m. So you see over here there is the time where I submitted the batch right and the next run time is 6 48 p.m. So let's just wait let me refresh it and you see it has already been started. Now if I go over here and refresh I'll see an invoice run getting created related to this invoice scheduler. Now there are indicators so in which stage it is right so right now it got completed but uh, previously it was showing orange mark over here that means it was in progress and we can immediately see the progresses as well over here if i go to related list if our criteria got satisfied an invoice got created for us and if you go to invoice line we can see we have three lines right so first line software services which was monthly billing Second maintenance services, it was semi-annually billed and this was one of bill. If I go over here, I can see it was till 31.5 because we have provided the date as uh, 31st, I believe. Let me see. You see 31st 5, right? So uh, an invoice got created for, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 month, right? And the amount is 500 USD. Uh, over here, if you go... And see this got this was bill in advance so it has created an invoice for the whole semi-annual part right okay and this was one of bill so that's where we can see the end date is 31 uh, December 2024 right so once I go over here before that let me show you one more thing if I go to the product I can see over here that uh, my billing status like invoice run status has become in progress okay now if you want to build this next time you won't be able to build it until and unless this again becomes pending billing and when it goes to pending billing as soon as i mark this as posted so i'll just mark it as posted and it got posted immediately if i go over here this will become this all will become pending billing and in the next invoice run or next 
invoice scheduler when it comes up right it will pick this lines and it will generate an invoice accordingly so this was the another way uh, in which we can create our invoices based on the scheduled time i hope you guys have liked this video so please share and like the content also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you very much